we have some exciting updates from Universal Studios Florida. And we are not going to let the rain stop us from bringing them to you. Hey, what's going on everybody? Rick here. And let's get going while we have a little bit of break in the rain. Just a slight sprinkle at the moment. I showed you this Minions banner last time, but what I didn't show you was Cold Stone Creamery has this Mega Minion Marshmallow Meltdown specialty item. Despicamello ice cream, chocolate chips, marshmallows, and yellow and blue sprinkles. For a limited time, I'm sure. Well, so much for that break in the weather. It started to rain hard again. But check out that medallion, a Minions medallion under the arch there. Despicable Me 4 in theaters on July 3rd. Looks like I'll be ducking in and out of stores and under awnings for this video. Here is something I keep forgetting to tell you and I keep forgetting to show you. And I forgot to show it again. It's in City Walk, the Hard Rock Cafe getting repainted. I did show it in the live stream this morning though. It's just like primer right now. The Five and Dime on Hollywood Boulevard has some new Halloween Horror Nights merchandise. Check out that graphic right there. That would make a cool tattoo, wouldn't it? And there is that graphic, not tattooed on your arm, but on this t-shirt, which is $33. And of course, featuring Little Boo. $12 for the Little Boo coaster. $25 for this, oh, it's kind of like a paperweight or just something you can stand up on a desk like so. Right there. I put it at the foot of the creature. The creature from the Black Lagoon. The mummy with this hand. Can you see that? Couple of short fingers there, missing a piece or two. Back out into the rain. I thought I had my rain slicker in my Jeep, but then I remembered I did take it out because I wore it recently in the rain and it needed to dry out, so it's in my garage right now. I'm about to just get wet. But that's okay, I'm unstoppable. What is this I see? HHN rigging? I think so. You will see more of it in Central Park. There's like seven or eight of these riggings with the mesh around it in Central Park. So most definitely this has to be for Halloween Horror Nights. Here in Central Park, I did live stream opening night of the Sensational Symphony Fountain Show. Opening night, I hope you tuned in for that. But we now have an end date for this fountain show. So it's running right now and it will run through August 25th. Now August 25th is right before Halloween Horror Night starts. So they're not gonna run that show during Halloween Horror Night season. It is yet to be seen if they're going to do an HHN fountain show here. And oh, by the way, if you want my opinion of the show, phenomenal, it was outstanding. Universal really knocked it out of the park with that show. Loved it. I mean, I can't think of a better show I've ever seen here at Universal for a, a fountain show or a fireworks show or a castle show. It was just tremendous. If you're visiting here during the time frame that they have the show, I do recommend you see it at least once, but quite honestly, like every night, it was just, uh, oh, it was just so good. Just phenomenal show, loved it. Well, Mama and her ducklings, they are enjoying the wet weather. At least someone is. I should also mention a couple more ending dates. The new castle show, Hogwarts Always, that is also going to end on August 25th. We presume to make way for the Dark Arts Castle Show. And then the parade, the Mega Movie Parade, doesn't debut until July 3rd, but we do know the ending date for that will be November 14th, as we presume it will make way for the Holiday Parade. To the right of SpongeBob Store Pants, the old Kid Zone Pizza Company has been remade into a DreamWorks Cafe. I'm gonna try something from here today but I'm not crazy about this being themed to DreamWorks. You have a whole DreamWorks land over there. Why have something DreamWorks related 
outside of DreamWorks land. Now I kind of get it from the standpoint of we have the standalone SpongeBob store here and then the building connected to SpongeBob is themed to its closest attraction, which is E.T. That makes sense. So I guess it makes sense to have this section of the building themed to its closest attraction, which is DreamWorks Land. I guess so. It's kind of a stretch for me. I would have preferred that it be anything else other than DreamWorks. I mean, it could just be themed to generic Universal Orlando as far as I'm concerned. I think I would have preferred that rather than it being themed to DreamWorks. Here is what they are offering at the DreamWorks Cafe. Ogaroni pizza, which is pepperoni, fresh mozzarella basil, pizza sauce on a fluffy and crispy dough for $13.49, or just get the cheese for a dollar less. Desserts, Boss Baby Beignets for $5.99. Strawberry Soft Paws for $4.99. That's just a, a strawberry bowl. And then Can't Stop the Donut, which is a frosted donut with sprinkles and whipped topping for $4.29. Today, I'm gonna to try the pizza and the beignets. And here is said pizza. I'll let you take a look at it. The dough looks really good. We'll find out when we taste it. And then the puffy, puffy, heavily powdered sugared beignets. They look delicious. All right, gang. Time for Rick's quick food review brought to you by themummycoffeecompany.com. It's the coffee you've been waiting for. Link in the description box. Use promo code SHIP for free shipping. But the pizza, now that's a different style pizza than what uh, you'll see here in the park. Haven't seen a pizza that style here. So if you like a little switch up in your pizza, try that. But here's what I really liked about the pizza. The dough, the crust was phenomenal. Oh my goodness, that was so good. Now the sauce, uh, just average, just mid for the sauce. The cheese was good, but the dough, the crust was amazing. So try it just for that. And if you want like a little different style of pizza than say a New York style pizza, very good. I would, I would have that again. And then the beignets, also very good. You know, tons of powdered sugar. How can not be good? I will say this about the beignets. Uh, they were a little more dense than what I expected. Not that I'm complaining, I enjoyed it, but just uh, from uh, from beignets that I've had in the past, uh, a little more of a dense beignet. At least that's what I had here today, but still very, very good. And now into DreamWorks land, specifically Poe Live, which is where the old ball factory used to be. I'm still looking around trying to find any remnants left over from the old ball factory. Shrek and Fiona just walked out the front door. The gong has been repaired. Hot dog. Oh, and look at that. The water bucket spilling water now. So this ball factory was full of balls. I bet it was hard to clean all of them up. I have been pretty lucky in finding some of the old balls laying around here. Let's see if I'm lucky again today. Well, there's one right in the open. This is kind of like finding Easter eggs. Hot dog. Found another one. Almost too easy that time. We now have no rain. I'm glad I don't have my rain slicker now. By the way, the DreamWorks Cafe, not the only new food here at Studios. When we get to New York City, I'll show you some more. On an inclement day here in Krusty Land, the Simpsons ride is a 50 minute wait. A couple weeks ago, I popped in here and found some surprise merchandise. Let's try it again. No, there's not. In fact, that cool creature from the Black Lagoon shirt I showed you, it's not even here. Oh, here it is. Oof, there it is. All right, but well, this is the same cool stuff I showed you before. Uh, I'll remind you the pricing though is 
$37. But some items from the Summer Tribute Store has found their way here, such as the Ghostbuster slippers for $27. But nothing new to show you this time. Celestina Warbeck and the Banshees are supposed to perform in 10 minutes. I'm wondering if the stage is too wet. Let's go find out. No, they said after lunch. I don't know if I'm gonna be here for that one. That would mean the two o'clock show. I'm so disappointed. There's a special Banshee today, but uh, I, I'm just not gonna be here that late. There is a Banshee that very rarely performs here in this show. And today was gonna be one of the days she did it. And I'm just gonna miss it. I still can't get over, I got rained out of seeing that special Banshee. I was gonna be her candy man. I mean, I was gonna be the boa man today. Another day that Streetcar Snacks is not open. They have added some new construction walls as we exit San Francisco. Probably just doing some work on the sidewalk or concrete work. Probably something like that. There's a guy out there standing on the fountain platform. Doing a little bit of work, I guess, before the show tonight. The last couple of times I've seen the Beat Builder show, it's been abbreviated. They haven't had the rocking spiel. The new construction by the lagoon's looking good. Jets out into the lagoon. Roof is going on. We don't think this is uh, on stage or for guests. We think it's backstage for team members. Who knows what they'll do? Maybe it's to help run the lagoon show. And looking at this empty patch of concrete, where has the Lou Wasserman statue gone? And will it return? Some more construction walls have popped up over here by the Empire Hotel, Universal Trust, and haagen -Dazs. With all the rain we had today, I guess there is no need to pop the water plug. Revenge of the Mummy Roller Coaster has been closed this week for scheduled maintenance. I've been told they are trying, trying to have it open June 21st. Down the road from the Mummy is Avenue Eats. They have some newish food here. I had it the other day. The street corn on the cob for $5.99 and the loaded nachos for $11.99. Also, there's a chicken empanada here and some Brazilian cheese bread. So I did do a live food review of those two items, the, uh, the street corn and the nachos. I like the nachos better. The nachos are very traditional with your chili and your cheese and your salsa, jalapenos if you like that. So I enjoyed the nachos. I wasn't so crazy about the street corn because of the, the, the creamy lime sauce. That just didn't hit for me. But if you're someone who enjoys lime, you might would enjoy the street corn. Another set of construction walls across from Jimmy Fallon and Race Through New York. Again, I think it's just like some concrete work or sidewalk work or maybe some underground work there. A cute little Despicable Me 4 photo display has emerged here at Music Plaza. Ain't that something? Inside of the Hello Kitty shop is this Hello Kitty spirit jersey for $80. I can't remember if I have shown this before or if it's new. If it is new, I should have waited until I buy this or maybe that video. But I just couldn't remember. $40 for this kind of like crop top Hello Kitty as like a bubblegum machine. Again, probably should have waited until I buy this or maybe that video. But you're seeing it now. There was something else I almost showed you, but I really should wait until that merch video. Wednesday, June 19th. I think we are all now caught up with updates. I'd like to give a big shout out and thank you to all my supporters. Their names on your screen right now. Don't miss the magic. Don't miss the fun. It's gonna be a good day.